hear that this can become wealth to you say this, this can become wealth to me the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstrott thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us Holy Ghost I thank you that you are speaking to people right now and those words are going into their ear and causing their life to be changed Yea, and some going in a completely different direction than they were before and the great things shall come to pass in this day and in this hour we worship you Holy Ghost you are the Living God and we ask that we could fulfill everything that you have planned for people in this earth and we're happy to be a part of it in Jesus name Amen, amen. well we have various messages we preach here that aren't necessarily preached anywhere else and this content that we're providing is unique and valuable mm -hmm. well I read one today you didn't hear the testimony a lady saying I've been a Christian 20 years and these things I've never heard before and they're life-changing they're changing my life that's just one person or 20 years. I've heard people say up to 50 years and yet they they come into this message and it's able to take them somewhere they weren't able to go after 50 years so there is great value in this if you can hear it let those words sink down into you and cause a change now you may like to hear a different message than what I'm saying tonight but this is the one you need to hear say this is the one, this is the one I, need to hear. I need to hear and you can benefit from it in fact this can become wealth to you hear that this can become wealth to you say this, this can, become can become wealth, wealth, wealth to me first to me. Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches mm -hmm. now who's he writing to the church right. this wasn't written to the world he's not saying charge them that are rich in this world the worldly people go tell them this this has nothing to do with them this has to do with those of us who have come up and have some riches in this world mm -hmm. what do he say that they give away all of their stuff and live in a cave no. No. he didn't say that did he no. he said don't be high-minded or trust in uncertain riches why would God tell them this because he doesn't want them to lose it mm -hmm. are you here yes. If you put all your money you had riches in this world and you put your money in uncertain riches what would happen you'd lose it but he said no don't do that but opposite of that trust in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. that's what he does say living God, living God. gives me, gives me richly, richly all things, all things to, enjoy. to enjoy should you trust in him yes. in that yes in what in giving you richly all things to enjoy rich in this world mm -hmm. all right so living God who's the living God holy we know this here is pretty flows off of our tongue living God is the Holy Ghost the Bible says you're the temple of the living God he says you're the temple of the Holy Ghost he's calling the Holy Ghost the living God yeah. and what does a living God do does a living God know how to live mm -hmm. better than a dead God yes. yeah, the dead God he doesn't know a lot mm -hmm. living God knows how to live mm -hmm. say he knows how to live, how to live. 
has he been doing it longer than you yes. mean some of us has been scraping to get by but he's the living God and he's not ending anytime soon he's gonna go on and on and on living very well so living God Holy Ghost gives me richly all things it says gives us richly all things to enjoy right is that in your Bible yes so living God Holy Ghost does something a lot of people don't know it a lot of people have never experienced it a lot of people don't know him in this way and haven't walked with him in this way living God gives us richly all things mm -hmm. to enjoy mm -hmm. so do you know him as one who gives you richly all things to enjoy I would dare say most of the body of Christ and of course the world they don't know him that way they don't know him the Holy Ghost as one who gives them richly all things to enjoy is it possible for us to know him that way yes. why would he write it in his word if he didn't didn't want us to know him that way hello living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy that sounds pretty good to me sounds like that should be included in the good news that would be good news mm -hmm. yes. do you know him as one who gives you richly all things to enjoy meaning actively doing this he's in the earth actively doing that giving you richly all things Amen. to enjoy Hallelujah. if you don't know him as that then you don't know him yet as well as you should can you imagine that not knowing the holy ghost as well as you should well if he does that give someone richly all things to enjoy and you don't know him as that then you have some knowing to do this says that that's something he does I'm talking about knowing the living god the holy ghost as one who gives us richly all things to enjoy first corinthians chapter 2 verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god who would the spirit which be of god mean holy, holy ghost that we might know the things that are freely given to us of god so we've received him that we might know the things yes why did you receive him so i can know the things well he said he gives us richly mm -hmm. all things we've received him so we should know the things yes see i've, I've received him so i should know the things, so know the things. what things all things richly say richly, richly. To enjoy. to enjoy verse 13 which things also we speak mm -hmm. which things which things those things yeah. well the things also we speak means he spoke them now we have to speak the things mm -hmm. and if we don't speak the things we don't get to know the things are you here mm -hmm. So we must speak the things also knowing him in this way as one who gives you richly all things seems sacrilegious to many doesn't it it's a new way of thinking a new way of believing it's actually a new manifestation of the spirit because people haven't been there they've been afraid to go there but this is where the Bible says he is and we received him that we may know the things it's different say it's different. it's different and I tell you 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 walk into this farther and farther and it will be even more different well guess who gets to change you think God's gonna change no you change you change into knowing him in a way you didn't know him before him who the Holy Ghost giving me richly all things to enjoy mm -hmm. 
so a new manifestation of the spirit is simply the spirit manifesting himself in a way that he hasn't before and if you listen and you go to where we're talking about tonight you will know the holy ghost as one who actively gives you richly all things to enjoy you think he wants to do that yes. why would he write it if he didn't want to do it it's part of who he is it's his personality you should get to know him he's pretty awesome second corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away what is a veil but something that keeps you from seeing something verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit the veils taken away now the Lord is that spirit who's behind the veil the Lord that spirit the spirit of the Lord it goes on to say that you know the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the Lord or the Lord who is that spirit and he says it's me when the veil's taken away he says it's me me who holy ghost is there any value to this having that revealed to you having the veil taken away so you can see who he is and know him trust not in uncertain riches but trust in living God who gives me richly all things to enjoy trust in living God believe in have faith in have a new reality that you walk around in I walk around in a new reality that a lot of people don't know because I walk around trusting in living God Holy Ghost who gives me richly all things to enjoy it's a new way of thinking it's a new way of believing and it's a new reality so I believe in the living God who gives me richly all things to enjoy say that I believe, I believe in the living God, the living God who, gives who gives me richly, richly all, things all things to enjoy. enjoy now I've got news for you if you believe that you're believing something that a lot of people aren't believing so he would say to you am I real do I do these things the more you worship me the more real I become to you I testify to this fact many many other people would testify to this fact you start worshiping him as God and he becomes more real to you the more you confess these things the more he does them for you mm -hmm. the more I worship him the more real he becomes the more I confess the things remember also we speak mm -hmm. the more I confess the things the more he's able to do for me mm -hmm. there's nothing he won't do for those who worship him go to Psalms chapter 34 does this sound new it doesn't sound new to you but it sounds new to a lot of people they've never heard anything like this before been a believer for 49 years and have never worshiped the Holy Ghost as God and have never believed that he is the living God giving them richly all things to enjoy they're not walking with him like that Psalms 34 verse 8 oh taste and see mm -hmm. that the Lord is good what do you taste with your tongue, your tongue. so you're gonna be saying some things and then you see some things yeah. say I'll say some things and then I'll see some things oh taste and see that the Lord is good blessed is the man that trusts in him remember what we read trust not in uncertain riches trust in the living God Holy Ghost right mm -hmm. blessed is the man that trusts in him mm -hmm. now fear oftentimes is translated worship 
worship the lord you his saints for there is no want to them that fear or worship him do you know who you're worshiping who are you worshiping the holy ghost and it matters well it doesn't matter it matters i'm telling you it matters who is he just let me talk about him for a minute you all right with this yeah. he's the wealthiest being that ever existed now and forever holy ghost wealthiest being that ever existed who are you worshiping him what if i came up and asked you and you said i worship the wealthiest being that ever existed am i wrong he's the wealthiest being but if you put it in the context of that it just makes somebody's religious brain go tilt mm -hmm. say this I worship, I worship the wealthiest, the wealthiest being, being that ever existed, that ever existed. what's that going to do to you at a minimum it'll rub off on you Haggai 2 verse 8 says the silver is mine and the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts or you could say the Lord of spirits mm -hmm the silver is mine and the gold is mine whose is all the silver yes. holy ghost who's all the gold holy ghost. he's the wealthiest being in the universe and you worship him mm -hmm. he is the god of all wealth you know i know you don't like it but let's do it anyway he's the god of all wealth he created it all if there's wealth in the earth it didn't come from the devil it came from god he's the god of all wealth say i worship, I worship the god, god of all, all wealth. wealth get that straight <laughs> if the devil had any money it's because he stole it he's a thief it matters who you worship i'm worshiping the god of all wealth he's the god of all healing and health right and i could take you i'm not going to do it i don't have time but i could take you through all the gifts of the spirit one of the gifts of the spirit it's a gift of him mm -hmm. is the gift of healing he's the god of all healing and health would you have a problem if i said i worship the god of all healing and health I worship the God of all healing and health. Psalms chapter 103. Bless the Lord, you owe my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Holy Ghost is a holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits, who forgives all thine iniquities, who heals all thy diseases. How many? Oh. All. He's the God of all healing. And if he heals your diseases then you're healthy Amen. right yes. say I'm healthy, I'm healthy. say I worship, the God of health. I worship the God of health say I worship the God of all health who redeems thy life from destructions crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles he's the god of youth renewal mm -hmm. say i worship the god, I worship the god. of youth renewal. youth renewal this is starting to sound pretty good mm -hmm. can i get in on this mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i mean we we have this 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 blank stare from people that are in religious communities when i say stuff like that because they don't know him this way that's the point that's why i'm preaching this do you know who you're worshiping if you're worshiping the holy ghost he's the living god he's the god of all wealth he's the wealthiest being in the world universe i worship you he's the god of all healing and health i worship you holy ghost he's the god of all youth renewal i worship you holy ghost you getting this mm -hmm. so in him and with him the holy ghost as god you worshiping him you speaking in agreement with his word 
all these things become your purview all the things we just talked about him his wealth his healing and health mm -hmm. his youth renewal his angels they all become your purview your range of operation they all become in the scope of who you are becoming are you getting this yes. that's your purview i don't know if you're getting it yet or not but all wealth all healing and health all youth renewal all angelic help and involvement become your thing can you see the enormous value and benefit in this in knowing him as the god who gives you richly all things to enjoy james chapter 1 verse 17 every good gift and every perfect gift say good, good. And, perfect. and perfect that sounds good mm -hmm. sounds perfect mm -hmm. so every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness nor shadow of turning well who do we know who came down from the father of lights holy ghost he's here with us now good and perfect and in him are all the good and perfect gifts gifting you richly all things to enjoy are you getting this but i find it curious here he says no shadow of turning what's he not turning from good and perfect mm -hmm. see he's holy and he never turns from it he's the wealthiest being in the universe but he turns from that never turns from it he's the healthiest being in the universe never turns from it and he's not flinching did you flinch when i said i worship the wealthiest being in the universe you can feel the flinch can't you you can see people flinching from that because they're like oh oh wait a second that's that's a step too far I tell you the Holy Ghost is a step too far mm -hmm. in most places the Holy Ghost is a step too far we don't do that here oh you don't worship God there I see mm -hmm. well I'm not flinching he is the God the Holy Ghost is the God of all wealth and I worship him the Holy Ghost is the God of all healing and health and I worship him don't flinch <laughs> he's the god of pure prosperity trust not in uncertain riches mm -hmm. but in pure prosperity living god holy ghost are you here yes. you see how we've not gone far enough mm -hmm. because we haven't known him as these things i've been talking about we've had some religious conception that has blocked us from the truth mm -hmm. of who we're supposed to be worshiping he's a god of pure wealth pure prosperity without turning from it you think he's going to turn from it he didn't remember that verse we just read the silver is mine the gold is mine did it look like he flinched did it sound like he was wavering from it no. we did we wavered from it unflinchingly said the silver is mine the gold is mine so i worship the god of all wealth try that on again I worship, I worship the God, God of all, all wealth. wealth now did you feel yourself start to flinch because I know I know you probably did I've done it many times stop it and it's just the devil trying to take take something from God remember he wanted to be like God mm -hmm. but doing this worshiping him worshiping the Holy Ghost putting those names and tags on him to affect your thinking it will change you you will be changed when you worship the god of all healing and health you will be changed when you worship the god of all youth renewal you will be changed Amen. he will renew your youth he will heal your physical body 
and if you're worshiping him the god of all prosperity and wealth what's that gonna do it's gonna change the way you think change the way you believe people are trying to believe god for prosperity and they don't believe he's the god of prosperity good luck with that start believing that he is the god of that we received him that we may know the things that he freely gives we've been believing the wrong thing and we flinch because people don't understand it they don't like it what well, I don't like what they think I don't like what I used to think right. I was just like them mm -hmm. this will change you and speaking in agreement with him will change your circumstances into what he has for you mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 48 verse 17 thus saith the Lord thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel I am the Lord thy God when you go behind the veil mm -hmm. when the veil is taken away now the Lord is mm -hmm. that spirit I am he says it's me mm -hmm. I am the Lord thy God which teaches thee to profit and leads thee by the way that I should go that that you should go is there any value to that yes. here we have the wealthiest being in the universe saying that he will teach you to profit and lead you by the way that you should go how's he he's gonna teach you in the manner that he's accustomed to in the way that he desires to live it's not all about you it's about him the Lord my God Holy Ghost living God is the wealthiest being that ever existed and he's teaching you to profit can you imagine having let's say you know somebody at the top of their industry and they become your mentor mm -hmm. they're gonna move in with you and teach you how to do what they did yes that will be great I've got news for you this is greater Amen. this is better than having that guy move in with you Amen. is there any value to knowing him in this way mm -hmm. it goes as far as you're willing to go without flinching Joshua 24 15 says choose you this day whom you will serve and that word serve can also mean worship choose you this day whom you will serve this is a life choice listen this is a life choice you make the choice am I gonna know the Holy Ghost in this way I've been talking about mm -hmm. can you imagine the result of such a life choice serving the Holy Ghost part of serving him will be speaking in agreement with his words you understand that worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his words mm -hmm. choosing to do that is a life choice what's the result of such a life choice it will be him manifesting himself in that way mm -hmm. Jesus said worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve part of serving him only would be speaking in agreement only with him you worship him I worship you Holy Ghost but then I speak in agreement with his word living God gives me richly all things to enjoy it becomes perfect worship I'm walking with him I'm worshiping him I'm serving him living God gives me richly all things to enjoy I remember when I was young in the things in the word of faith I don't know if you know Charles Caps or not but I went up to him after one of the meetings and he wrote this in one of my Bibles this verse Psalms 138 verse 8 
it says the Lord will perfect that which concerns you the Holy Ghost will perfect that which concerns you the things that you're in right now may not be perfect says the Spirit of the Lord but as you continue to worship me and speak in agreement with my words I will begin to overtake your situation I will send my angels and they will be actively involved in causing you to come up in prosperity come up in healing and health and come up in youth renewal and your life shall be different and the way shall be clear and you'll no longer be behind that curtain for I shall anoint your path before you and you shall succeed where others have failed we thank you for it Holy Ghost we give you glory and praise and we ask to know you as the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy we worship you in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I, worship I worship you you are, you are the living God the living who gives me gives richly all things to enjoy and I know you and I know what you're doing in my finances and it's great it's abundant and it's wealth moving in my direction I don't flinch from it but I give you praise in Jesus name Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today 